Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Eat. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys how you can get unlimited cards on your transfer targets. Now this only works on the web app in the companion app. If you try to do this on console, it will not work. So if you guys enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get to 25 likes. Now, I'm gonna show you kind of how to do it and how to not do it. So if we are on the web app right now, as you see, I have 50 cards here already. Um, typically this would be full, right? Whether or not I've won all the cards shows that there's 50 items. If I go to place a bid, I fully expect it to not let me bid. It'll give you a message saying limit reach. Your transfer target is full. Please try again later for clear items from your watch and active list. Now, all you got to do from this step is hit the reload button. And once you come in, the first thing you got to do before you touch anything else, it's the only way it works is you got to go to your squad. So I'll show you kind of where on your squad you can go. And this is how it works. So if we go to the squad section, we go to active squad, we go to the reserves, we go to an empty spot on the reserves and click on the search on the transfer market here. It will bring us the opportunity to put in whatever we want. So for me, I like investing in bronze rares for 200 coins. So I'm going to do a max of 150. We'll do like a minimum buy now of 1500. So since we are full, we shouldn't be able to bid, right? wrong we can actually put bids down here so you can do 10 at a time per page if you are on the companion app meaning you're on your phone every single time you hit this back button it will make you have to re-put in the filter to search your stuff just kind of keep that in mind you're not going to be able to come back to the screen it's going to reset it you're going to have to do it again so that's why i recommend doing it on the web app but you just come in you place your bets you can do this for however many cards you want if you go to the transfer targets here it'll show that you now have over 50. now it will cap i believe at 100 in terms of the items it shows you but you can have essentially unlimited behind it one thing to remember though is if you ever do pull it out like let's say you are on the playstation and you end up pulling your transfer targets out it will pull everything together so if you have thousands of cards sitting here you will then have thousands of cards to deal with before you open a pack so it's best to kind of leave it sitting in the transfer targets this is typically best when you're using like the same card like let's say you're investing in some sort of inform or some sort of icon or honestly like for promos i like to do a bunch of rare golds a bit on hundreds if not thousands of them and then wait for their price to go up during promos you can do it with fodder so 83 to 87 rated that sort of thing works really well um again if you keep it in the transfer targets you'll still be able to open packs the only thing that sucks is when you do this you lose the ability to kind of bid on other cards you need. So someone like myself who likes to do league SBCs, it's going to be harder to get that done if I have the unlimited transfer targets, but it's again, more for investing sort of things. So um, given a take, I would rather have unlimited cards here than have nothing there to begin with. So that's going to be the tip. If you guys did enjoy, again, feel free to smack the like button. Comment down below if you need help. Again, it will only work on the web app and the companion app. Companion app is the phone app. The same thing will happen. You have to log in. You have to go to the squad. You have to go to the bench. You got to go to the reserves and you got to click into there. It will not let you save it every single time you do the 10 bids. So you'll have to re-put the filter back in. If you ever hit a point where it says you can't place another bid, probably you've touched a different area. And when you go back in, it'll say something along the lines of, oh, this doesn't work. You're actually full. You refresh and just start it again. So if I were to place another bid, um, let's do 1500 again. If I were to place another bid, it might give me that message now. Yep, your transfer target list is full. Please try again later. Clear your items. You're refreshed. You do it again and it works. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, catch you next time. It's been a boy, Mumble I'm out. God bless.